Hello everyone, myself Samar Kamal, pursuing Biotech in Engineering Physics from IIT Roorkee. I am second year undergraduate student. Today I am going to bring you second video of 7 Sigma LED display that discusses theoretical and code part. So these are the points that we are going to discover today. First one is general introduction about 7 Sigma LEDs. Then we will talk a little bit about LEDs and then types of 7 Sigma displays and then how interfacing is done and the last part is the code part. So what is 7 Sigma display? 7 Sigma display is an electronic device used for displaying ASCII characters. It consists of 7 Sigma LEDs arranged in rectangular fashion and each of the 7 LEDs is called a segment. Each segment is labeled from A to G and decimal point by DP. This is how LEDs are labeled. First LEDs are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So these LEDs are arranged in such a way that it should be forward biased to glue the LEDs. So these are common SSD possibilities. We have been, we could depict decimal digits ranging from 0 to 9 and some of the alpha characters. It just depends on person to person how it uh, acknowledge those characters. So these are the seven segment possibilities. One could depict decimal digits ranging from 0 to 9 and some of the alpha characters here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, L, N, O, P, R, S, U, Y, Z. So these depend on the person to person how that person acknowledges the characters. So why are we using LEDs in seven segment? For displaying, one could use LCD, CRT, plasma. But the advantages of using LEDs is that we could fit a large number of LEDs in a small space it's easy to use, it's easy to carry, it's readily available in different colors. So what is LED? A light emitting diode is, is essentially a PN junction optosemiconductor device that emits the light by electroluminescence. It's a principle by which LEDs work. So here is the structure of LEDs. We have been provided with cathode, anode, flat spot, anode wire, LED chip, reflective cavity and epoxy lens. This flat part is known as anode. So let's see the LED operation principle. LED works on the principle of electroluminescence. So what is electroluminescence? Electroluminescence is an optical and electrical phenomenon in which a material emits light in response to the passage of electric current through it or to a strong electric field. It's the result of radiative recombination. So this is how LEDs are arranged in 7 segment display. This LEDs will glow only when this LED is forward biased. Next thing we are going to discuss is types of 7 segment displays. As we know that each LED has one anode and one cathode. So based on that we have two types of 7 segment LED display. First one is common cathode and second one is common anode. The difference between them we could understand from next slide. Here GIF depicted in the left side, here points denoted by A to G are anode. You could see that a cathode of each LEDs are connected to a common potential, so this is common cathode. And here again we could see that points A to G are connected, A to G are cathode and all the anode, anodes of LEDs are connected together to a common potential, so this is known as common anode. So now let's see how interfacing of one LED is done. So we have been provided with an output port PNR0 and we have been given a transistor to drive the current for LEDs a certain amount of current is necessary for a diode. Here RC acts as a current limiting diode. This is how we interface LEDs through port means. So take for example PNR gives signal 0 then this LED will glow so we have got the required equation I is equal to VCC minus VT by RC. This current generally ranges from 10 to 20 mA and this is the IV characteristics of a diode. So in the next slide we will let you know about how to interface more than one LEDs. Obviously single 7 segment can display only one character. We need to combine more 7 segment LEDs so that one can give it more information. We need to know how to interface a group of 7 segment LEDs. So we have port lines, 7 segment LEDs. In this, what we are doing is that all laser 7 segment 
all bees and similarly are attached together. Cathode of all LED, LEDs of one seven segment are joined together. This is known as common cathode type. Now here this transistor driver is connected to decimal point. Similarly, all transistors are connected to A, B, C, etc. We have port B, which is connected to cathode of seven segment. Port B ranges from PV naught zero to PV naught five. PV naught zero is connected to first cathode, and PV naught five, PV five is connected to last cathode. Suppose we want to display one. We we'll let LEDs B and C on, and this should be off. And we want to display it in first segment. So what we'll do is we'll give signal zero to PA one to PA two, and rest a given one. PV naught is given zero. We want to use as for sig seven signal. Now with the relativity property of our eye, we could use second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth LEDs together to display information and electronic speed such that our eye could not distinguish it, and it would seem that we are getting stable information. And this is how interfacing is done. So let's see the code part of it. So here the code part is explained for the experiment that I have done in another video. So here we could see the first couple of ports that is used for initializing the output ports. Here we could see that we have two counters, bit counter and character counter. So what we have to do is initialize the counter. So in this code we could see that bit counter is eight since we are using since we have got seven signal LEDs to display and one decimal, so seven plus one is equal to it. So in M two zero one F bit counter is initialized. Is it's written code is 0 in M201F code is 08 and the character counter is 4 since we are using 4 7 signal LEDs display 4 characters in 7 signal module ok so character counter so in, is set to 4 in M201D now we could see in M2022 that what happens is that clock is set low and loop starts in such a way that both character counters and bit counters is recommended this part that is M2030 checks whether character counter is not zero and loop continues. So ultimately we are using two loop. One loop is for bits, another to display character. When we are done with it, we move on to what to display. Earlier code is for de depicting number of characters and now what is to be displayed. Since we have set character counter 4 in the code, we are going to enter 4 hexadecimal codes. Actually this hexadecimal code take for example A1. When converted to binary form, we will get 10100001. In previous slide, this 7 segment LED is displayed as HGFCD, HGFE, DCBA. Whenever a bit is low, that is signal is 0, then LED low. So, for example, this specific code enters the value good in 7 segment display. Specific code that is M2100 is A1, M2101 C0, M2102 C0, M2103 A3. De this will depict good in the 7 segment module and that I have showed in the experiment. In the experiment, another thing that I have displayed is life's code, which is of 9 character. So the, the changes that I have made are as follows. In M210D, 04 is changed to 09, this char character counter is now 9. In 203, now what to dis since to display we have to cha make changes uh, in the looping also so in 203 C3 is written in 203 F 90 2040 and this will help the loop to go on now to depict what's written in memory address 2104 92 is written 2105 86 2106E to 107 CF to 108 C7. This will helps to depict life's code in the 7 segment module. So here what we are using, we are using uh, in this way we are using using loops using this code to uh, run loop and desired outcome we could get an experimental part as you could see. So that's for all for today. Thank you.